In 19 days, about 41,000 pilgrims visited Carlo Acutis' tomb. His remains were displayed longer than originally intended to allow thousands of people to visit them after his beatification. These were the final moments that Carlo Acutis' tomb was open. Marcello Semeraro, the new prefect of the Congregation for the Causes of Saints, traveled to Assisi to participate in this brief ceremony. Oh Dio, che nella vita del Beato Carlo hai mostrato le insondabili ricchezze dell'Eucaristia e dove è il suo esempio per i giovani e testimone di misericordia verso i poveri. After venerating the remains, the tomb was closed. The remains will be displayed again in May, the month dedicated to Our Lady. And when the pandemic is over, the tomb will be made permanently accessible to pilgrims. The damage done to victims of abuse in the church is irreparable. However, spreading their stories will help prevent abuse from being repeated. We've been dead for a long time, long decades, and we need someone to say, come out and untie us. It is also necessary to know which good practices have helped people return to the church. Like Susan, a victim of abuse at the age of 15.